Hey everyone, Justin Brawl here tonight. Yeah, I just got while I was in college right now, I was I told you guys that since I wake up early for call, for classes now, I don't have exactly have time to do my live reactions early in the morning like I usually do. But <clears throat> I was gonna tell you guys I was gonna do it later. This is right now later and I just gotta text my friend like while I was in college, so I'm gonna read fairy tale, read fairy tale. And <clears throat> of course the response I'm gonna of course I'm gonna do it now. I'm, I'm gonna miss fairy tale. But here we are right now with Fairy Tale Channel 499, Green Juve, and the way how he sent, my, sent me the text, like something big happens. Well, since we ended up with Green Andrew having to force the fight, let's see how that turns out. Okay, we just got some. Just fan art. Don't exactly care. Okay, here we go. Now that the two have been reduced to Envil's pup to Envil's puppets, they have no choice but to, but for one to kill the other. Now then, whenever you're ready, you may now rest until one of you lays dead. My conscience is fading. Now I refuse to her grace some uh, anything but that. It feels kind of weird if I that back then when during the whole Phantom War thing, Gray and Julia fought. I can never bring myself. You can't even think of any other thing. Yeah, you had that intent to kill him back when you were in Phantom Lord. But times have changed, so there's that. They clashed and damn, they both got hurt. Did he just... He punched... He punched her. She kicked him. You know, he took her down. What are you ready to do? Indeed, just as I had calculated. Grace shall emerge victorious. Oh, Guruji was like screaming. The unbearable sim taking the life of dear Kama with your own hands. It shall die your heart in pitch black darkness. And give birth to the ultimate war to defeat end. Oh, well, small flashback. Your majesty and about the pendant which always hangs from your neck. Ah, oh, you mean this? That's not Sue, my dear younger brother. Oh, wow. He had a picture, so not Sue was alive. Or no, like... His majesty shall be the one to defeat Agnolia and grasp the entire world in his noble hands. All that stands in the way of his great ambition is that accursed end. Oh my god. Again with the third person. Jeez. He doesn't know who actually he thought N was just a book. But he doesn't know that Nen is someone else. But he knows. It cannot be. These actions are unforgivable. The very thought of Juvia hurting Graysama. Juvia would rather simply meet her and at Graysama's hands. But that too is unacceptable. No actual dialogue, but just freaking talks in their minds. Okay, she would say he'll blame himself for doing that. Yes, she will end her own life. Here and now. Now please undo it. Before my consciousness fades away completely. Juvia, will you have nothing to fear? Muster your courage and fort fortitude, Juvia. <laughs> Any and all resistance is utterly futile. Ice lock as a magic was completely imprisoned one's heart. The two of you have long lost your ability to reason, and until one of your until one of you drops dead, the chain can now use. Now she shouts it with gusto. Juvia's body is far too small for these four overflowing feelings to ever be imprisoned within. And I just hit my mic. Words can express the joy Juvia has felt gained to know you, Grace Sama. Oh god, please don't tell me she doesn't. Oh my god. She just, she seriously did it. She did it. Inconceivable! She took her own cord. Took her life out of her own cord. 
Wait. Oh my god. He did the same thing too? Why did he go and do something stupid like that? What? Both of them simultaneously? Why? How could you? Grace, now this cannot be. She thought she stabbed herself, but instead, but he stabbed himself. How the... When did he pull up his sword? I can never hurt a comrade. No, I can never hurt you, Juvia. That's why. That's why I... And yet... I wanted to protect you. No matter what the cost, but I couldn't. No words being bring to you such joy, Kurisama. Grace Senpai noticed me. Have these imbeciles lost their minds? This cannot be. It shouldn't have come to end to this. Not to I'm begging you. Avenge us. Oh my god. Oh the blood. Oh no, please don't oh that's how they their their story ends. Rather than killing one another, they voluntarily took their own lives. How could any rational being do such a thing? I made a gross miscalculation. Oh, God, and the villain, of course, just thinks by himself. I expected, but still. Now that it comes to this end, it seems the duty of eliminating end falls into my, into my own two hands. Look, the village is finally subsiding. What the hell was all that about, anyway? Two panels. What the... I'm still alive. It can't be on me. I mean, sir knows. The sensation. Juvia's blood is overflowing with sign me? Water make blood. It prepares for the absolute worst case scenario should something catch our befall Grace Emma. She seriously perfected this book. She did blood transfusion magic? She will live on within your grace, Sama. That is why. There is no reason to be sad. Juvia! This isn't happening. Juvia! Because Juvia's life will all ever and always belong to only you, Grace Sama. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh man, but we still got a few more more pages to go through, but there's no way that's not between these two. No. No. Juvia, I promise I'll take your feelings more seriously, so please just open your eyes. I'm begging you. Juvia! Brandish has heat in his direction in this direction as I recall. Oh wait. And Wilson shock and like, oh my holy shit. Gray is pissed. Next issue, Fairy Tale Visions its landmark five hundredth chapter. To be continued in fire, fire and ice. Yo, Gray is pissed. Oh man. Oh man. Oh my God. I'm actually. I'm excited for next one because I can see we can see Gray fully come all, go all out now on Envil. And Envil's face, he is scared shitless right now for what he just saw. But the fact that we just lost Juvia of all characters in Fairy Tale to lose. If Gajil's just if Gajil thought that we all thought Gajil was dead and most Gajil fans like me were shocked to find that he actually died. He's alive. Thank God he is. But now that Juvia is back. Juvia no, not back. Juvia is dead, but her blood rides with Greg. Oh man. I'm I care my phone just said done charging, but it says it kinda of breaks the tension there, but Juvia is now gone. Out of all my favorite, all my female, all my, out of all the fairy tale members that are female, or at least female fairy tale characters, Juvia was up there with Levy. She was up there.
But now that she's gone, oh my god. Rest in peace, you and me. You're pain for being be ever in go from the memories of fairy tale fantasy you have touched. Well, that's the end of fairy tale, so oh, man, we just lost more important characters. We just lost someone very special to the, to the series. Well, until then, see you next time for the next video, and I will have my overview of Bleach and also Nisekoi coming up this week. So until then, see you guys next time. So remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye!